projectile, so you know what's coming. This is, uh, well, the playoffs to the finals, so I'm not sure what days this is. I'll have to work out. I think it's days four through whatever, four onwards. Um, so we're going to take a look at the matches here. So it's Navi vs. Australis. Um, thinking that's going to be Navi because Navi have been playing really well. Australis really haven't. I know it's been the group stages, but it's been some, you know, considering they're meant to be the favourites, didn't go particularly well. So I'm going to have them to win. Fnatic versus Gambit. Fnatic is still playing a deathmatchy pug life FPL sort of mode. So I just think that Gambit are just going to outstrat them and win. Um, Virtus Pro versus North. North have played quite well to be honest. I still think they're having LAN issues. They're not quite used to that massive audience or that massive pressure of this major yet. So I don't think that they stand a chance against Virtus Pro really. Once the plow starts rolling it's going to be very difficult to stop. And then finally, SK versus FaZe Clan. Um, SK, just because they're still really strong, even with their standing. Uh, his stand is, their standing, sorry, has been actually been playing really well. Fox has been playing really well. Um, so I, I don't think that FaZe can really pull it against SK. So based off that, moving into the next ones. Uh, Navi, Gambit. I mean, I think it's just going to be Navi, to be honest. I don't. As much as Gambit might be able to counter them, I just don't think they got the firepower that um, Navi have got. So for that reason, I'm going to put Navi there. Virtus Pro versus SK. Virtus Pro are looking on point at the moment. So I'm going to have to put Virtus Pro in there. And then finally, Navi versus Virtus Buddy Pro. Buddy, entered your channel. Hi. Buddy left your channel. Bye. Whoops, forgot us in Team Speak. Um, then Navi versus Virtus Pro. I just Virtus Pro are looking really strong at the moment, so I think Virtus Pro might just snatch this away. Just, I think they're gonna just snatch this away. Um, so based off that, can I get gold? I don't think so. Uh, 10, 12, it's 22, 29 points. I'll be one. Yeah, I can't quite get gold, I don't think. Unless they still give you points here. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. No, they don't give you points for taking part. Which is kind of gay. Um, so for the group stages, uh. I should have said what I was originally going to do before I made the video and the update video. Um, because I did put Navi here originally and then I was just like, oh, Stralis is really good, Stralis is really good. Yeah, I should have just put Navi there. I was Stralis down here. Um, I didn't have Godsend or Fnatic in there originally. Um, I had... Who did I have here? I think I actually had... Possibly... Gambit? maybe and I I actually had I actually did put North here first and then I realized who they were and I watched on their demos so I moved them down here and I put Hellraisers here um, and then I changed my mind and went for Liquid because I realized they had two stand-ins um, I shouldn't have Liquid actually played kind of well they didn't make it out but so those two I probably could have got more points I you know I probably should have got 21 maybe uh, so that's just unfortunate and then um, so hopefully here I get more points I'm hoping to get at least silver but I mean chance of that oh that's 12 points per correct pick didn't realize that's actually so yeah I could still get 12 10 20 30 40 50 60 2 4 6 8 so 68 points yeah I can still get gold Hopefully I get at least silver, um, but I'm, I really am hoping for gold. I'm hoping that this is going to be kind of obvious. This is the only one that I'm going to struggle guessing, but we'll see as it goes on um, how this pans out. i got to say I'm not a fan of this Swiss system. 
I don't like this because there's just too much left to like you can't predict enough like because they like the teams are just basically drawn out of a hat as to what they're going to play so we knew what the first matches were going to be but then after that we don't know so it's it's kind of annoying to guess these when this lasts for three days this entire thing here lasts for three days and it's just it's so hard to guess whereas if it's like this you're just like right now he's gonna win this match and you know I think Gambit might win this match but this is just so hard to get points from I mean don't get me wrong people are doing it really well I'm the only one to stand up you see I'm top 35 percent and you, you know I didn't get many points here really I mean I lost out on one two three f four what's that that's 12 points I missed out on oops and I'm still top 35 percent and I know that if I'd got just if I'd got just two more right so if I got you know this right and this right then I would have been in the top two percent that's like the such a massive uh, you know gap here and this there's too much left to chance like North and G2 played their elimination match together so it's like I was always going to miss a point here and um, who else played together God sent I think faced phase. I want to say they faced phase. I could be wrong. So it's like I was always going to lose a point there. I'm pretty sure I was always going to lose a point against these somehow. Oh no, they played. They played. I can't remember who they played. I can't remember who they played off the top of my head. But basically, the, it's down to the luck of the draw now with the pick'em challenge. Whereas you can see in previous years, when you look at the team pick'ems, it's a lot easier to do bec because you see. Okay, Australis versus Dignitas. I think Australis is going to win here. Then you got CRG versus Gambit. I think Gambit's going to win here. Navi flip side. Navi. Nip optic. Nip. Liquid envious. Envious. So, you know, I'm still getting missing points here. Like I missed one, two, three points here. I missed two, four, six points here. And another five points here. And then six points here. It's just, it's just a whole bunch of unfortunate events that just unfortunately you know transpired that way you can see I didn't like pick the underdog ever I don't think I don't think I ever picked the underdog except here um, to which I thought you know liquid run really good for maybe they'll be Vertispro it didn't um, so you, I, I never picked the underdog it, it just so happened that on the day that team turned up and I think it's it's much better that way. It's more fun to watch. Whereas with this, it's with like this way, it's so hard to keep track. Like I find the group stages very boring and very um, like I I wasn't really supporting a team because I couldn't work out fast enough. I I couldn't work out in my head: do I want this team to win or do I want this team to win? Like, because you also like you, you're trying to think ahead. You're thinking, okay. Both of these teams, I didn't want to qualify, but but if this team goes through, then this team will get an easy win. So do I want them to get the easy win, or do I want this team to get the easy win? You, you know, so it's it's a lot more difficult to sort of process in your head. I much prefer this layout. So hopefully they go back to that next year, and hopefully I get these right. Um, if I make any changes, then I'll upload another video. But this is probably going to be pretty final unless you know I think the ones that I'm really going to look out for is if Navi lose if Gambit lose um, then obviously these will change and these will change sorry this will change because I've already picked here um, so hopefully maybe I'll get some easy points but here we go until then uh, until I update this video or don't update this video and I well I will update this video because I'll tell you how many points I got and how well I did but until then uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one